Hello everyone. It's nice to be back. I had to take a little time off to have a little uh, couple of minor surgeries, but everything's great. And now we're going to do this pretty, really simple, really, really easy dragonfly and flower stone. It's almost a four inch stone, I guess. And I'm base coating in black. Now the dragonflies we're going to do are going to be very, very easy. Just like you can see here, I'm just doing like a figure eight, a long figure eight, and then a smaller figure eight underneath and then the body. So if you just follow along, you'll see just really how easy it is. Now I've drawn that same kind of a design. You can kind of see it there in pencil, very, very roughly on the stone. And I just use a regular graphite pencil. If you want to use a white chalk pencil or a watercolor pencil or something like that, go right ahead. And so I am following the line. I'm starting at the outside of the wing and um, just walking some dots in from there. Now I'm using the white enamel paint. It's a shiny finish and it's a pretty durable finish. So for the white, you can use any white. You can use a pearl, you can use, you know, whatever you'd like. I just happened to pick the white enamel uh, gloss. So I'm not doing the figure eights, but I've drawn the figure eights on the stone and I'm just following, you know, what I needed to make them look like dragonflies, or at least my version of dragonflies. So I have a large one, I have a medium sized one, and then I have this smaller one. And this smaller one is going to be facing off of the stone, like flying away. The uh, middle one is going to be coming up into the stone and the biggest one will be on the top of the stone. So you can do all big, small, you know, make your, your uh, I'm going to continue to call them butterflies. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm I meant dragonflies. With a large flat tool, again, this is at your discretion. I'm using different size tools here. I wanted some very large flowers. I want small flowers. You can make your flowers however, whatever size you'd like. So again, with the white enamel, I'm just going around and I'm just putting random flowers here and there. And I'm just doing five, mostly five on the smaller ones. Sometimes I'll do six little dots. They don't have to connect. Um, this is very informal. And now I'm using some metallic gold. If you want to make colored flowers, go right ahead. Put, please, at all times, just use whatever colors you want, okay? Uh, make this yours. Now I'm using the gold on the bottom on the body specifically because I want that to be like look like it's outlined in gold. Um, if you have a lighter background, you can go ahead and just do this part of the body in black. I have a black background, so I'm using the gold for the outline. Once that's dry, I'm going to come back and put black on top of that gold a smaller dot of black on top of the gold, which will be the actual body part. Now I have hologram and I'm just going to put a little bit and I'm just going to drag it around the inside of the, the wing. Um, I want it to have like a little bit of an iridescent look. If you wanted to paint yours with a different color of glitter paint, you could do that. If you wanted to paint them, you could do that. Uh, I find the hologram to be very easy on black. It is um, like a greenish tinge and it's it's pretty uh, so here you can see that i got a little heavy-handed on the hologram and so as i was going along i was like yeah that's just really thick and it didn't look good so you can scrape it off it comes off very very easily and um, just replace it now here you can see i have the black and I'm going right over the gold and this is showing you exactly what I was talking about. Um, I wanted the gold to be like an outline and then I'm just bringing the black. It's just the regular black down. So now I'm going to be using this um, just a regular acrylic. It's a green tea along with these Martha Stewart pounces. I got them off of uh, Amazon. Anything you want to use, like a sponge, you can use. Um, I have several different types of sponges, and this is the ones that I thought would be best for this. And I've dabbed it off onto my, you can see I'm dabbing most of it off on my palette, just so that I don't have globs of paint. I want it to be very dry. And I'm going around and I'm just kind of like highlighting in between my flowers and my dragonflies. 
I have you know, the different sizes of sponges. If I can find them online, I will put a link below. Sometimes they're hard to find, sometimes they're not. Now you can see I've gotten some of the green on the flowers and some of it on the dragonflies. And um, that's not a big deal. You can, you can try wiping it off a lightly dampened Q-tip. And if that is not enough, then just go back with your paint and redot it. So far, this is pretty easy, right? I'd like to know what you think about it. Leave your comments and questions below. But before you do that, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. A lot of people watch my channel and I really appreciate it. And I'd like to have the rest of uh, you folks that have not yet subscribed join us. I would really appreciate it. It does help me out. Now I'm adding some more little flowers and I'm just randomizing the little gold centers and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put the white enamel around the flowers. And these, a lot of these are going to have six or five or six dots on them. Really doesn't matter. But I wanted some of the flowers to be outlined and I wanted some of them to be sitting right on the top. So that's why I did that. And here I'm going back over my white because it, that white enamel often on darker colors will kind of become thin enough that you can see through it. So I went back and I just made it a little bit thicker. Now here with my very fine brush, I'm just dragging a little bit of white down on each side of the bo uh, body of the dragonfly just to give it like a little highlight, like a little shimmer. And now with the gold glimmer paint, I'm just uh, putting some glimmer on top of the flowers. Now this is a dragonfly glaze and there's different shades, different um, colors. There's, there's a red, green, blue, there's gold. Th there's different ones, there's multicolors. This one here is the blue, green, gold uh, mixture. And I'm just sprinkling it here and there. It's not showing up very well on camera, but in person, um, it does look really pretty. So just, just put it wherever you'd like. Dab it in there with the sponges. This is a thing that you can do before. If you, even if you, you know, if you wanted to just do your whole stone with this before you even put your flowers down and put your, your dragonflies down, you can do that too. So here you can see that as I turn the stone this way and that way, you can see the different colors of iridescence. And I think it came out pretty nice. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Oh yeah, and don't forget too, I did take it and give it a Rust-Oleum Clear uh, Gloss Spray. I didn't show it on camera, but I did put a couple of little legs, as you can see there on one of my dragonflies. <laughs> but um, that's totally optional. So that's it for this one. It's a nice, easy, quick project. Maybe something you can whip up for Mother's Day coming up this weekend. And uh, please, Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so that you can be reminded every time I put up another video. I hope to see you soon. Bye.